Hello, good day everyone. If you're wondering if you can play Fire Emblem Engage now into your PC, then this is the perfect video tutorial for you to watch because in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up, how to get the game and how to run it perfectly well into your PC. So in order to do play Fire Emblem Engage into your PC, you will need to have and install first Ryujin's emulator and it should be in its latest version. And also you will need to have all of these files here installed into your Ryujinx emulator. So for those who are new, what is Ryujinx emulator? Ryujinx emulator is a Nintendo Switch emulator that can play any Nintendo Switch games as long as you have these files installed into your Ryujinx emulator. So first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get Ryujinx emulator. And in order to do that, just open your web browser and just type in Ryujinx emulator and hit search. The first uh, result would be Ryujinx.org. That is their official website. Just click on that and then go to the download part of the page. And if you're using Mac OS, um, your Mac should be in Mac OS 11 or later version in order for you to run Ujinx somewhere. If you have Linux, you can download here. And if you're Windows, then you can download it here. So um, I am currently using the latest version of Windows 11. That is Windows 11 22H2 version. And there is no issues uh, regarding in playing um, into the switch games in regions emulator so you can just download here so i'm just going to skip the download and installation process of regions emulator because that is really easy to do and anyone can do it okay so i'm going to assume now that you have already installed regions emulator so boot it up and you will be met up with a certain error saying that you will need to have some certain files installed into your regions emulator in order for you to play into the switch games so what are those files uh these are the files that you need uh, the files are the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware. The Nintendo Switch keys and firmware should be in version 15 in order for you to play Fire Emblem Engage. Because if you are using uh, old versions of the keys and firmware, then you will be not be able to boot up Fire Emblem Engage. So be sure that is version 15. And that you have uh, the XEI file format of Fire Emblem Engage. So if you are wondering where to get all of these files, legally speaking, you can only get these files through a modded Nintendo Switch console, uh, which has a custom firmware installed in it. Because if it has a custom firmware, then you can access your Nintendo Switch system files, and then you can just copy the Nintendo Switch keys and Nintendo Switch firmware files into your PC. And in order to get Fire Emblem Engage, there's no other way but to own the game, and you should buy it and you boot it up into your Nintendo Switch modded console and then digitally back it up into an XCI file format. So if you don't own a Switch or if you have a Switch but don't know how to mod or how to do all the things that I have mentioned, so I'm just going to save you that hassle and teach you where to get all of these files here. In order to get all of these files, I will just, I'm going to leave a QR code here where, and you can scan it with your QR code reader, scan it with your mobile device, and you will be redirected to the download page where and you can get all of these files. So that website should be approms.com. I'm not going to show you that. So just hover down to the website, the middle part of the page, where you, where and you can get or download the XCL file format. And into the bottom part of the page, you can get the keys and firmware. So be sure to check out the website in its entirety in order to get all of these files. Okay. So I hope you do understand that part. Now, I'm going to assume that you have already downloaded files and that you have a copy of it now. So to now is to uh the next step is to do is uh, go to regions emulator and install them so go to file then open regions folder and then open system folder and open the keys zip file here and then just drag and drop or copy and paste that file into that folder if this is your first installation then this folder should be empty okay so i'm just going to close into that now the next step is to go to tools go to install firmware install a firmware from xe or zip file and then choose the firmware version, which is version 15.0.1. Click on that. And then it will say that you have to install it and hit yes. And it will say successfully installed. So your version 15.01 is successfully installed, meaning that your UGC emulator now is fully capable of booting up and loading up Nintendo Switch games. So what is the next step? The next step now is to optimize your UGC emulator into your PC so that it will run smoother, much better than a native uh nintendo switch self uh the nintendo switch console itself so to do that just go to options go to settings and then here in this part just pause the video and copy my settings from here on out so the game directories is where in you will put your nintendo switch games and that nintendo switch game should be in xei or nsp file format so be sure that it is xei or nsp file format because that is the only format that ryujin's emulator will be able to boot up so go to input 
So I'm just going to say this, that it's better to play on controller even playing Nintendo Switch games. It's better that way. And it is really hard to play it in keyboard. So be sure to configure it. So I have been using my Nintendo Switch Pro controller into my PC. I'm just going to get it connected with my uh, USB cable. And I have set it up accordingly to my liking. And if you have a PlayStation or an Xbox controller, you can set it up it here and then hit save. Now go to system. Again, pause the video and copy my settings here. So be sure to copy everything. Then go to the graphics tab. This is the most important part. The graphics back end should be on, on, and graphics back end should be Vulkan. The preferred GPU is your uh, dedicated graphics card, which is a uh, 2070 Super for me. Then enable shader cache and enable macro HLE. Resolution scale, scale should be in two times resolution so that it will look much better and more sharper and much more beautiful than the Nintendo Switch itself. Anti-sotrophic filtering should be on and aspect ratio should, should be 16 by 9 and hit apply. And now your Eugene emulator is now fully optimized to run Nintendo Switch games. Some games can be modded to run 60 FPS. Some games you can add some HD texture in. So your Eugene emulator is now fully play, fully optimized to play Fire Emblem Engage. So a little bit of disclaimer. I'm not going to show you guys a gameplay of Fire Emblem Engage because we all know that Nintendo is really strict on this kind of content and they don't want it to be shown in YouTube. So if I show you the you the gameplay of Fire Emblem Engage, then my channel will be at risk that it will be deleted and my videos will be taken down by YouTube and Nintendo. So I hope that you understand on that part. So if you followed all the steps that I have shown you guys, I can assure you that you can play Fire Emblem Engage into your PC with no issues at all and it will run much better than nintendo switch itself okay so uh if you if there if you have some questions regarding on the installation process of fire emblem engage into your pc then this just leave a comment in the comment section below and i will try my best to answer all of them so again thank you for watching please do subscribe to my channel so that my channel will grow and again see you in the next tutorial and goodbye for now